Hello, my name is Ariel. Welcome to my project. I'll be telling you guys about the story of Ariadne and the Labyrinth. On the island of Crete, Greece, there lay a castle by the name of Knossos, also known as the Palace of King Minos. Having a castle sounds like a swell idea, but there were two problems. One, the castle had an inescapable labyrinth, and two, the labyrinth was inhabited with a killer minotaur, half man, half bull. Great plot twist, right? So let's start with Daedalus. Daedalus was a very skilled craftsman, and he created the labyrinth for King Minos, but shortly after finishing it, King Minos had Daedalus imprisoned within the labyrinth. Daedalus and his son Icarus devised a plan to escape by using wings made of wax that Daedalus had made. Daedalus told Icarus to not fly too close to the sun or the wax would melt, or too close to the ocean or the wax would disintegrate. Did Icarus listen? Of course not. Most people know this story, right? Well, this next story that is about to be told is a sequel, The Legend of the Labyrinth, Theseus, the Minotaur, and Ariadne. King Minos was a very cruel king. Every nine years or so, he would sacrifice seven Athenian boys and seven Athenian girls to the Minotaur in the Labyrinth. Back then, this was considered an act of entertainment and a fun thing to put on resumes, being a sadist. Obviously, King Minos thought it was really cool. Ariadne was a young Cretan princess. She was the King Minos' daughter. Ariadne was also the sister of five other people whom I can't really pronounce the names of, but I will try my best. She was the sister of Acacalus, Androgeus, Deucalion, Phaedra, Glaucus, Xenodice, and Catrius. Through her mother Pacify, she was also the half-sister of the Minotaur, which made her know all the Minotaur's nasty tricks. Ariadne was put in charge of the labyrinth and made sure people didn't try to escape. However, once she miserably failed at her job. This is where it becomes ironic. One sunny day, our Greek hero, Theseus, was just casually passing by when he heard about the fun sacrifices. He thought to himself, how can I stop this tragic act? And he attempted to talk to King Minos. Minos, obviously enraged, imprisoned Theseus in the labyrinth. Theseus took the place of one of the sacrificial boys. Ariadne was so flustered by Theseus that she decided to help him get out of the maze safely. She saw a handsome and courageous man who was willing to sacrifice himself to stop her half-brother the Minotaur and her selfish dad. She threw a spool of golden twine to him so he could mark his path and get out of the labyrinth ASAP. Theseus, shocked, took the twine and used it to his advantage. Theseus, spoiler, bumped into Mr. Minotaur. The analogy I can make to this story is when Little Red Riding Hood was on her way to her grandmother's house. Remember how she made all those remarks to the wolf in the forest? I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers? Things like that. This is like that, but the Minotaur is the wolf and Theseus is Little Red. He had weird interactions with the Minotaur, except he killed the Minotaur before he was eaten, unlike in Little Red Riding Hood when the hunters killed the wolf after he had already eaten Little Red and her grandma. Being in such shock and lust, Theseus had fallen in love with Ariadne when he got out of the maze and saw her. They lived happily ever after, blah blah blah, until he left Ariadne, leading her to falling in love with a god, Dionysus, but that's a story for another day.